we've had an absolutely incredible month, uh, starting from the 1st of June when we had the um, solar eclipse, which was the end of an old eclipse cycle, um, and then a full moon on the um, a full moon eclipse in the middle of the month, ending with another solar eclipse, which was the start of the new uh, eclipse cycle on the 1st of July. And um, I've experienced it as being a very intense and full-on time, and I think that's been true for many, many people. And, um, yes, people have asked me, what is this about? We talk so much about the shift on the planet, the shift that's happening. What is it about? What's really happening? And um, I, I can't truthfully answer that I actually know what's really happening, but I have a sense of what needs to happen. And working as a trauma therapist, I work with prenatal trauma resolution, and I also work with um, um, healing people from trauma, from abuse, or any other kind of um, difficulty that's ended in a traumatic event. And what strikes me mostly is the shift that we're needing to make on the planet is to move from a fear-based planet to one of openness and connection and love. And um, openness and connection is, and love is, is a place where we can receive, we can give, we can receive, we can be nurtured. But a place of fear, where we have been existing, is a place where we're shut down, where we're restricted, where we're contained, uh, people are disconnected, people are fearful and abusive, and that's where all the, all the damage and all the pain happens. And really when, you know, this can start as early as being in the womb, when there's a lot of input coming in, a negative input to the embryo um, and the fetus in the, in the womb, then this all comes through the umbilical cord and it actually comes in, in through here and um, the babies need somehow to stop that happening so they clamp it down. We, we build in somatic patterns into our body incredibly constricted somatic patterns which really shut, our shut us down from our potential for living, our potential to be connected and loving and open. And uh, that's why I specialise in working with this early trauma because by freeing up these patterns we can begin to be more open and more connected. And um, we are a continuum. I didn't, I didn't give that name, it came from somebody else's work, but we're a continuum of um, water in our bodies and water in the, bo in the planet and water in the, uh, in the galaxy that we carry this, um, this wisdom, this intelligence in our bodies that we pass between each other and we, we pass into the environment. So when we can open and change and bring this, um, this love and this connection to ourselves, then it immediately transmits, it resonates and transmits to each other. So the concept of 2012 is that at, at that point, according to the Mayan prophecies, that we, we have a dramatic change, a dramatic planetary change. Now that many people are questioning, will that really happen? I don't know the answer, but what I do know is I'm witnessing incredible speeding up with people and a desire to be more connected, more empowered. Um, people are really working very, very um, focused in very focused ways on shifting fear in their bodies, constriction. Um, they're working to create more connection with themselves and with each other. And, and I can see that that's happening at, at an astounding rate at the moment on the planet, which is really amazing. And um, I just have the, the deepest hope and trust that we are going to create heaven on earth. I can see that happening right in front of me now. So I really welcome you to come and talk with me. And I really am open to listening to you and to learning from you because we're all learning from each other at this point. And uh, thank you very much for being here today. Goodbye.